Oh, this is kind of a funny way to start the episode out. Feeding a stray cat food. So, they'll feed the stray cat in Kuwait food, but the cat that she owned for however many years back in Canada, that... <laughs> you know, that one, that one could starve. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> she look at me. Yeah, she's scared, but like... Oh, she feels safe. You are in good hands, cat. <laughs> Enjoy your food. It's, okay. it's a stray cat. What do you mean? It's in good hands. The only hands it's in, it's its own. It takes care of itself. Huh? What do you mean it's in good hands? You're not the one taking care of it. Okay, honey. Enjoy your food. MashaAllah, she eats it all. She's too hungry. Are you hungry, baby? I kind of forgot. I don't do a lot of foodie booty videos. You guys know this. I'll do one maybe like one every other week, if that. Um, I forgot that a lot of these videos are just filler footage. They're just ways for her to get extra views. So quite literally, if this is a under an eight minute video. I mean, six minutes of this may just be like random footage of like everything. So commentary on this might have to be like pulling teeth. You know, my first thought is it's probably not appropriate to be filming something like this, but the guy in front of him is literally playing on his phone. And then it kind of, it, it, I, if you're there worshiping, if you're there for religious purposes, why are you on your phone scrolling through TikTok or whatever? I mean, this guy right here. And I mean him, like you can't tell me like he's like immersed in the experience of this like playing on his phone recording for YouTube. <laughs> oh my God, the guy over here too. Look, phone, phone in hand. Everybody's on their phone. What's the point of going if you're just going to play on your phone? <laughs> I mean, really? This is, in my opinion, um, this is going to be controversial because some of you may want to do this. this. This is like people who go to concerts or like events in person and then the whole time they have their phone up in the air recording or they're just on Snapchat or do, doing something. It's like, why go? Why go? Like, enjoy the experience. Be there. It's, it's what you paid all this money for. It's like living through a screen. Uh, do I sound like I'm 70? <laughs> just feel that that's rude you know that is that person's job you know to preach and stand up there and talk to you during this and you're gonna sit there and play on your phone it's just rude i mean if you if you don't want to pay attention if you don't want to sit there or whatever i mean go out in the lobby go out in the hallway
30 degrees Celsius. I think the hottest weather that I've ever been in was like close to 50 degrees Celsius. And I am American, so I have to look it up. Hold on. 50 Celsius to Fahrenheit. Yeah, when I was living in um, Phoenix, it's like one of the hottest places in the United States. It got up to like 120 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like around 50 degrees Celsius. So I'd imagine 30 is still hot, but you know, not nearly as hot. I, it was horrible. Like, I, I hated that. Like, Phoenix, Arizona in the summer, it, it's not meant for humans to be there. I don't, I don't care if there's, like, you know, innovation or, like, air conditioning or whatever. Like, it's just a human is not supposed to be in that type of condition. <laughs> it's a desert for a reason. Uh, 86. Okay. Boy. Oh my gosh. I just remember going to like supermarkets during the summer and running, running from the parking lot to inside. Like it, it was just so miserable. Like I, I remember one time we had to park kind of far away. It was like, I was getting like lunch with a friend at the time. I had to park kind of far away. It was like on like a, it was on like a busy road and we had to like parallel park somewhere. It wasn't just like a parking lot by a restaurant. Like we actually had to find like, you know, our own parking and we had to walk like three minutes it, it, I I about like killed over. Like I was just like getting like really anxious. I was like, oh my God, like I can't be out here in this. Like this is horrible. I mean, when you're like Chantal, you know, t interpret that the other, any way you would like for that. But when you're Chantal and this is the heat, I mean, could you imagine? Could you imagine? kind of interesting i mean i'm you know i'm gonna be culturally ignorant of a lot of this just because like i don't i don't know anything about middle eastern culture but why are the women in this billboard not wearing hijabs because every time that chantal has shown footage of other people and herself obviously on this channel all of the women have had um head coverings i'm wondering like what it is different about like this advertisement Hi guys, so we're here visiting Salah's mom at the graveyard and as you can see it's tradition on Eid to visit deceased relatives so there was quite a line up to even get in the cemetery. Again, just probably not the most appropriate time to be filming. I mean, you're so you're supposed to be visiting someone's deceased loved one. You know, you should kind of be in a headspace, kind of like a more humble, grateful attitude. I, I don't know. This this just to me would not strike. Oh, this can be an opportunity to film for our YouTube couple channel just it's strange this this is this is strange this this doesn't seem appropriate and then i mean i to be filming other people to be filming other people grieving their loved ones on a major holiday for couples channel content <laughs>
I, I can't, I, I don't know if I can with these Chantal videos. I mean, I, I was looking at a, I was trying to find a video of hers to react to. I was just like looking on this channel, like looking through it for like a hot second. There was like one where they went to an amusement park and then there was this one. I, I chose this one because it was eight minutes long. It, it, this is, this is difficult to get through just because it's, it's her filming out the window playing copyright free music. I mean, how is this a vlog? I, I, I don't know if I could make it through a 16 minute long one. I mean, if if most of these are just her playing, you know, royalty free music with just filler footage, like a, a cat eating food on the ground and like them like driving around. So after the graveyard, we came home and had a Eid breakfast, some traditional foods here that are eaten uh, on Eid morning. So we have some pineapple and orange juice and a couple of fresh pears. And can you guess which one is my glass? <laughs> the one with lots of ice, of course. Yes, you know I love my ice. And also we have a bunch of fresh bread. The leftovers, of course, go back in the freezer so that it stays fresh. And we have some falafel, some fresh, delicious falafel my favorite <laughs> the frozen bread is fresh I, i'm pretty i remember when she froze this originally i don't remember what video it was i don't know if it was the last one i did but i remember seeing some type of clip where chantal put bread in the freezer but yeah she took it out and it's fresh and then this is fresh too <laughs> fresh so we have a bunch of those we had a bag with some extra ones as well you get 25 of them for one kd and we have here is a mixture of hummus and full. Full is uh, fava beans as well, which is a very big breakfast staple here in the uh, Middle East. And in Kuwait here, we have that often for breakfast. And we have some um, makdus, which is the stuffed and pickled eggplant and some square cream cheese spread as well. So the idea here is, as you can see, Salah and I doing. Oh, and there's also olive oil and fresh lemon juice and herbs. I, I honest to God thought that those were both her hands at first. I thought she was like double fisting them. And I, I was like, how is she filming? I was like, is she, she holding it with her teeth? <laughs> I thought that these were both her hands for a second. It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Sprinkled on top like coriander and parsley so you take the falafel and also the uh, fresh bread as well and you dip it inside of the full and um, hummus mixture really delicious yum bismillah another traditional treat you see at Eid apparently is called mamul and it's like little if you guys ever had like um date squares it's like little date cookies so it's like cookie and then the middle is like date and they're soft and they're actually really really tasty especially to eat with tea and coffee Eid Mubarak Habibti Happy Eid Habibi And here I have something for you We call it Eid A small gift for Eid Ooh, Something traditional you know Nice Alright let's go shopping <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay he gave her money. It was probably her money. She probably gave it to him and then he gave it back to her. <laughs> um, no, that's actually a really common thing. You know, I'm not going to pretend like I know, you know, things about Middle Eastern culture because I don't. But I remember um, freshman year of college, I had made friends with an international student from China. And he gave me a red envelope and it had money in it. And I, I was like so confused. I was like, you just give people money for the new year? I was like, oh, that's interesting. But you know, that, that really is the best gift. I mean... You know, I always thinking like, oh, should I get my mother-in-law a candle? Oh, should I should I get her a Bath and Body Works gift card? Should I should I get my father-in-law a tie? Just give people money. I mean, everybody needs money. Just, that's the best thing. So I I think that these little traditions they they got it spot on. And this also a tradition I eat sweet called mamul. Has dates inside. Exactly. We call it tamar. Oh my god, he like towers over her. 
How tall is Chantal? Because I know that Amber Lynn is like, what, 5'2", five 5'3". Five she is tiny. I mean, he, he is. He's like a full, like, two feet taller than her. <laughs> Maybe not two feet, but... I'm a bit taller. Yummy. I've noticed they do that. They do that with all of their food. They'll take a bite of something and like shove it in the camera to show us the inside of it. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe with like some type of exotic food, but like a cookie that came out of a wrapper. I, I'm not sure about that, but I've noticed that that's something that they do a lot. Happy eat for you guys. Happy eat, guys. These are pretty rough to get to get through. I don't know if I could do a 16 minute one. I really don't. This was kind of rough. Maybe I could do a 16 minute one if I just like skip through all of the um, filler footage. But I, I mean, just like really like from from a minute. For, like they actually, you know what? From the very beginning, because like they didn't even really talk while this cat was eating. The first like five minutes of this was nothing. I mean, the vlog didn't really start until they sat down with the meal, because this is when all the narration began. This is when all of the explanation began. The first five minutes of this is pointless. From a vlog standpoint, like if you're not going to explain anything or talk, it's just going to be. Ra I mean, I could go walk outside and film my surroundings and put, you know, royalty free music over it, but who wants to see that? Uh.